Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to curve writing to fit it on a wooden round ornament for Christmas. Let's get started by opening up Cricut Design Space. This ornament is going to be round, so let's start by inserting a circle to use as a guide. Let's change it to white so it's easier to see the design. Next, I'll add the writing. For this design, I'm going to write Merry Christmas, and we're going to change the letters so they have a curved look and fill in the whole ornament. Let's make it a bit bigger and center the text. There's quite a bit of space between the words right now. We can fix that by clicking on line spacing and reduce the size. You can click on the down arrow to reduce the spacing or just type in a new number. I'll make mine minus five. I'm happy with the spacing between the words. Now we just have to make the letters fit the ornament a bit better. Unlock the writing by clicking on the lock icon. This makes it so you can stretch and skew the writing how you like it. I'm happy with the sizing of the word Christmas because it mostly fills in the space. Mary is a bit too small though, so I'm going to turn it into its own layer so I can make it a bit bigger without affecting Christmas. To do this, let's just copy and paste to make a second copy and then delete one of the words from each layer. Now that we have both words separate, we can make Mary a bit bigger as well. The words are approximately the right size, so now we can do the fun part. Click on Mary, then up in the right hand side, click ungroup. This will change the writing so that it's not a whole word, but instead is isolated letters. Start with the letter that's in the middle and click unlock. Then stretch and reposition it so it fills in the space. Go through the design and do the same process so all of the letters fill in the space. Start by ungrouping the word, click unlock on each individual letter, and adjust it to how you like it. I'm happy with the letter placement, but there is a little too much empty space on each side of Mary. I'll fix this by adding in a Christmas tree fixture to finish it off. I have one uploaded already that I like, but if you don't have one on your computer, just click on images and find one that works for you. This is the final design and I'm very happy with it. I'm going to do one more step though to show you how it's going to look once it's done. If you haven't tried this yet, you can actually take a picture of your ornament and just upload it right into Design Space. I'm going to paint a black circle on my ornament before I stick on my design, so I'll just add a black circle shape now to give you a general idea of what it will look like. Let's just change the writing to white. And there you have it. This design is ready to go. Well, I hope this video helps you next time you're using Design Space. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.